Hello, you sexy biscuits. Okay, I need to talk about a couple of upcoming games because this is a, a crazy month for video games. There's quite a few, um, and there's one that even goes into May um, that's coming out, which I'm really excited about. Now, I know for a fact we all love the medieval period. Um, that is what started this channel, of course, with Kingdom Come Deliverance. And one of the most anticipated games in years is going to be coming out on the, I think, 26th of April, and that is Manor Lords. Oh my god. I played the open beta for this. Um, th there was that demo, and I loved it. I'm not really that into town builders, but the immersion of this town builder is just incredible. Not only do you get to build your own medieval town, <laughs> there's going to be um, combat with enemies. The main thing I really love about this is the fact that you can actually walk around in third person throughout your town. You can walk around and experience your town and feel like you're actually there. And to be honest, it feels awfully like Kingdom Come Deliverance. The buildings kind of look the same. Obviously, it's the same era, um, but it feels like you're walking through your own uh, creation or biscuit down, as I will probably end up calling it. So you can expect videos um, very soon. Um, hopefully, and we will be uh, delving into this, maybe doing some live streams, because that could be fun, building the town together. But from what I've seen, the intention to detail um, how this game looks just is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I am super excited um, for this to come out on the 26th. Uh, this is being created by Slavic Magic, which is a great name, and being published by Hooded Horse, and it's going to be available on Steam and on Game Pass on PC. They are developing a version for the Xbox, um, which is interesting, and I would definitely be um, checking that out. I also want to see if this runs on uh, Legion Go, because I think that could be really interesting. This is the perfect game to play portably, um, to be able to build a little town and um, get everything working when you're on the go. I think that could be really, really cool. Now, moving to a bit of a different genre, we have Broken Roads. Uh, this is a Fallout um, or Wasteland style RPG, and yeah, this looks really really good. As I'm filming this, it's going to be coming out in an hour, so you will have access to this game when this video releases. Um, and I just really like the look of this. This is being published by uh, Versus Evil and Tiny Build, and uh, the developer is Drop Bear Bites, uh, with a Y, not an I. Um, and it says on the Steam page, Broken Roads is a story-rich, party-based RPG set in the decaying post-apocalyptic version of the vast Australian Outback, which is kind of interesting, kind of going for that um, Mad Max style, featuring a genre-redefining morality system, survive, form bonds, and uh, make tough choices that will shape your dangerous yet mesmerizing journey across the wilds. Now, I haven't received a uh, review code for this. Um, I might reach out for one, um, but as I can see um, from what it looks like, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and if you're into uh, Fallout or, or Wasteland especially, uh, you're going to really, really like this. Um, and from everything I've seen, it, it's looking good. Plus, um, their social media on Twitter is amazing. Uh, they're really invested in this. Um, so that is absolutely brilliant. Now, there is another game that has been out for um, a couple of years now on PC called Trail Out. Um, and it feels very like a spiritual successor to the Flat Out series with a twist of Burnout in there. Um, uh, honestly, like it looks really damn good. But why I'm mentioning it right now is because this is coming out on Xbox today. Um, this is coming to Xbox Series X and S. It's also going to come to PS5 in quarter four of 2024, and it's being developed by The Good Boys, um, very fancy, and published by Crytivo, who I'm not that knowledgeable on. I will say, if you're interested in the Flat Out Games, Destruction Derby, anything like that, this is going to be really fun. Um, of course, you could buy it on PC. Personally, I like to sit down on my sofa playing racing games with a controller, and that's what this is going to give me. So um, that is also 
really bloody exciting. Uh, right now, this is up um, for $30, which is not too bad at all. So I just checked. I, I must have played the demo. I don't own it on PC. That's annoying. Um, I thought I did, um, but I did play the demo and really enjoyed it um, a couple of years ago. So yeah, that's really cool. Highly recommend looking into that. Now, sticking with the car theme, you may not know this, but when I started YouTube, I was massively into um, car chases. My whole career on YouTube started with GTA 4, driver parallel lines, um, car chase videos. That was what I started doing YouTube on back in like 2010, 2011. All right, so they're all behind me right now. Let's try and uh, get our head in the zone here. I'm gonna move the wheel forward a little bit because the wheel wasn't completely in the way! Oh my god! Okay. So when this game was announced, I lost my mind. This is heading out. And when I say I'm excited for this, I just... Uh, oh my god. Look, I love um, Vanishing Point. Uh, both versions. Um, the original 70s movie and also the 1997 um, TV movie, which I really recommend. It, it has more story depth and uh, world building than the f uh, original. Um, I highly recommend that movie. If, if you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. It's very fancy. And yeah, this looks incredible. This is being published by Sabre Interactive, who have just released um, the Kingdom Come Deliverance Switch port, which is amazing. Um, also, uh, the uh, developer is called Serious Sim, which I think is great. And yeah, as you can see in this trailer, it's got this um, really nice um, art style, um, kind of comic book um, style to it. If you played the game Road 96, um, or Route 96, it was a game where you had different choices that would come up, and um, you kind of went on this kind of, um, like, path where it could diverge into different situations depending on what options you picked or what run you had. So it's kind of got this bit of um, randomness to it. And this seems to have that similar um, kind of aspect to it where you can pick, um, for instance, um, you come across a, a massive hole or what looks like Mel's hole. If you know what that is, um, go listen to Coast to Coast with the amazing great late art bell from the high deserts and the great american and southwest i'm art bell um but yeah there's a there's a scene here where you can throw a coin in or scream into it um so that is just one option out of many that are going to be in the game and i don't know what the hell that's going to entail um but it's going to have 70 star car chases with what looks like a hemi cuda um versus what looks like a dodge charger at some point the yellow one um, that's incredible. I love 70s car chase movies. So for me, this is really exciting. Um, it seems like a game that would be perfect for handheld. I'm going to hopefully get this on my leash and go and play this. Um, it seems like one of those games you can do a couple of runs, uh, maybe a day, and just see what different things you can find. Um, and yeah, just incredible. 7th of May, uh, that's coming out quite soon. Um, so yeah, that heading out. Great. Uh, I just wanted to say this because there are some really interesting games. And you know me, I'm not one of these people who, who focuses on the popular stuff because that's not really my thing. Um, I like to look at these more interesting um, uh, kind of... Uh, developments that are happening in kind of like the smaller studios and if you look at something like Broken Roads or Heading Out for instance or Manor Lords, Manor Lords I think is made by one or two people originally um, the, these games are kind of um, smaller and indie and I really hope um, I can shine some light on them um, I don't know how YouTube's going to handle with this in terms of the um, uh, algorithm but if it gets a couple of people to wishlist these or buy them then I've, I, I'm happy you know um, so tell me what you're excited for uh, this honestly has been uh, and will be uh, one of the best months ever in my YouTube stuff I think uh, in terms of the games that are coming out and the interesting stuff like Manor Lords. Um, I'm going to be playing a crap ton of that as well as some other stuff. Keep an eye on the channel. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you're excited about. But um, yeah, go check all these out. I will leave links in the description to their Steam pages. Um, but yeah, 
I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me out. Bye, guys. Oh, and I'm the type of guy who will never settle down. Where pretty girls are, well, you know that I'm around. I kiss them and I love them, because of me they're all the same. I hug them and I squeeze them, I don't even know their name. They call me the wanderer.